stroll through Talking Water Gardens in Albany and you'll be taken by its beauty. What you may not know is that it provides a very important function. We're going to learn all about that. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us is Kristen Preston, Wastewater Superintendent with the City of Albany. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Good to be here. All right. Beautiful trails, plants, birds, everything. Mm -hmm. But it's what we don't see that is the real secret behind this garden. Right, yeah, so Talking Water Gardens is a treatment, an engineered treatment wetland. And so wastewater from the Albany Millersburg uh, Water Reclamation Facility, which is the city's sewer treatment plant, and water from the uh, ATI Watching, which is a local um, metals company, their treated wastewaters come here to get further treated before it goes into the Willamette River. What further treatment does it need? Well, the, the reason that the wetland was built was to reduce temperature of the wastewater. Uh, the Willamette River, that discharge, that where this discharge is, is limited for temperature. So the, the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality has determined that um, the, the, the temperature that the river achieves is too high for the salmon and trout species. It impacts their migration and reproduction. So they've determined that the wastewater needs, the temperature needs to be reduced. And so how it's achieved here is really through shading. And so we have emergent plants, uh, cattails and uh, bulrush that, uh, and trees that provide shade and that cools the water. And the water is also cooled through, cooled through evaporation. So as the wind we're experiencing here blows over the water, mm -hmm. it evaporates the heat. We see a wide open uh, space here of right. water. Beautiful, what looks like a beautiful pond. Mm -hmm. In the future, say three, four years down the road, they're not going to see that. No, you'll see areas of, of open water, but most of the area, about 80 to 90 percent of it should be covered with plants so that it can provide the shade that the water needs to cool. So whereas another city may have cooling towers, right? this is more a natural process and a process by which the community can also benefit through through the many trails. Right, we looked at those other mechanical means and they're very expensive to run and they take a lot of energy and didn't have this, uh, you know, aesthetic and public community, you know, a public space uh, to enjoy. And so we've got about two miles of walking trails throughout the facility and it provides great habitat for birds and turtles and other uh, um, bugs and critters. Um, and it's really, uh, you know, a great community amenity. You know, I didn't want to ask the mayor because I didn't want to embarrass her had it been algae. But you uh -huh. tell me this green that right. we're seeing here is not algae. Yeah, it's often mistaken for algae, which is darker green. Uh, this is called duckweed. And so it's a floating aquatic. Um, it's, it can also provide some shade, but we don't really count it in the shade because it kind of moves around and you can't count on those that to provide shade. What, uh, we have other floating aquatics like lily pads and other things, and they do provide some cooling, but not as much as the, the uh, plants that sort of cast a shadow over the water. You know, we were talking about the ultimate goal is to get down to a certain temperature mm -hmm. for the Willamette. Right. We're not there yet. Right. It could take three to ten years, you were saying. Maybe, yeah. It's a natural system, and so we're not exactly, you can't really predict. It's not a, like a structural feature where, you know, once it's built, it's done. Right. Things are growing and dying and coming back, and, and we're having to manage it. And so now we're just we're really actively trying to promote the plant growth and doing doing actual planting to to get to that 80 to 90 percent. But before that happens, mm -hmm. you're not doing anything illegal or against what oh, no, DEQ no. standards are. No, we, it's not required in our permit yet. Um, we're just, did, we did it in anticipation of what, um, what would be required in our permit and also what's good for the river. Okay. It's talking water garden. It is. And you say you speak water. What's it I saying do. right I, now? Oh, let's see. It says, hmm, Kristen, you're doing a good job. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen, thank you very much for joining okay, us. Okay, thank you. And thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day, everyone.